Today, we'll go over the demo number three of NSXT Federation. This one is about simplifying disaster recovery with GSLB. Before starting this demo, let's recap the other demos already existing on NSXT Federation. We have the demo number one, which is NSXT Federation Network and Security Services that presents all the network and security services available with Federation. The demo number two, which is already a disaster recovery demo, but this one with stretched network. As you can see on the picture below, you have stretched networks between two locations with compute connected to those stretched networks. And in case of disaster recovery of one location, the network and security are automatically recovered. The only action to do, which can be scripted, is the recovery of the compute. As you can see in this animated slide, when everything works fine, traffic enters via the left to access the compute. If I lose the left, SRM will recover the compute and automatically, with no touch on NSX nor the physical fabric, the, uh, the traffic for those subnets enter via the right, via the location number two, London. And now with the compute recovered in London, everything works fine again. So that's the demo number two. And the, the goals of those two demos, it's to show the benefits of NSXT Federation, which is operational simplicity because everything is centrally configured and uh, straightforward workload mobility. VMs can move transparently from one location to another, doesn't change anything for the access nor the security and ease of disaster recovery as we just discussed. So now we'll talk about the demo number three. And what is this one? It's also a disaster recovery demo, but this time with the compute recovery completely automatic. And for that, we have compute on each location and we use um, single location networks centrally configured with Federation. And the network and security recovery, as well as the compute recovery, is completely automated. So let's see this in more details. Um, and yes, um, before doing looking at this in more details, the goal of this demo number three is to show the new supported integration with GSLB using uh, AV networks for full automatic disaster recovery, including compute. And all those demos are available on this link. Okay, so now let's look at deeper the demo number three with the lab presentation, logical view. So I have two locations, Paris, London. I have in my location, Paris, a global manager active, a local manager uh, for Paris and a Navi controller uh, for Paris. And I deployed using centrally my global manager Paris, this uh, topology, a tier zero, a tier one, and a couple of segments with my two tier app in Paris. Then I add my load balancer for this application behind uh, tier one uh, Paris dedicated for my load balancer on a specific segment. And now everybody from the outside can reach the VIP Paris to access the two-tier app. Okay. In London, I do the same. I have a GM London, but this one is standby. I have an LM London for my local manager NSX for London and a Navi controller for London. And I deploy from the GM Paris active, so centrally still from the GM Paris active, this topology in London, which is pretty much the same. And same thing for a VIP in London that will load balance uh, my two-tier application that is physically in London. Okay, now for the GSLB part, I configure GSLB in Paris and London for a specific name, finance.corp.com. And the definition of this um, DNS name is VIP Paris first, but if Par VIP Paris doesn't work, then to use VIP London. And I do that in my GSLB centrally, in my GSLB in Paris and my GSLB in London, but I don't need to replicate the configuration. AVI, uh, AVI networks allow the synchronization between its two GSLB locations. 
And so when everything works fine, the client goes to finance.corp.com, which is resolved to VIP Paris, so enters via Paris to the VIP in Paris and is load balanced to the two-tier app in Paris. Now, if I lose Paris, then automatically the GSLB in London, which was active and still active, resolves finance.com, but this one will not give the VIP Paris IP for the DNS resolution since it detected automatically the VIP Paris is dead and will give the VIP London uh, instead. So a client that goes to finance.corp.com now will get resolved to VIP London and will reach VIP London and will access the two-tier app, uh, but this time with the compute in London. Okay, and all that is done without any touch uh, on NSX, nor physical fabric, nor the compute. It's completely, completely automatic. Unlike the demo 2, where I had to recover the compute with SRM to move it from Paris to London. Okay, so now let's see this in action. Okay, so this is my lab. First on my vCenter Paris, where you can see my two-tier app in Paris and the IV load balancers uh, in Paris for the Paris uh, VIP and GSLB services. And same thing in London, where you have my two-tier app in London and the IV load balancers for the London VIPs and GSLB services. Now on NSX for the network and security, you can see the non-stretch tier zero, the non-stretch tier one, and the non-stretched Paris and London web and DB segments. Now on the security side, I centrally configure from the global manager my two-tier app uh, centrally with the same rules for Paris and London. Uh, that allows traffic from outside to the web tier on ping HTTP HTTPS from the web to DB only MySQL and everything else uh, denied. And on the LB service and GSLB service, I have my AV controller Paris and London, and both are configured with a VIP for their location for the two tier app and a GSLB VIP. And on the GSLB uh, configuration. It's centrally configured from my AV controller Paris and pushed to London for the name finance.corp.com that is resolved uh, with the algorithm priority base. So it's always resolved with the VIP Paris unless the VIP Paris is down and in that case it will be resolved with the VIP London. Okay. So that's the configuration. Now, if I access the VIP directly in Paris, you can see my two-tier app. It's a simple app where I'm load balanced um, between the web front end 11 and 12. Uh, I will be load balanced to 12, here we go. And uh, the web tier is um, has access to the DB tier in Paris. Same thing in London, where I'm load balanced between my two front-end web 11 and 12, and the front-end has access to the DB tier in London. Now, if I access that application via the DNS name, and I'm using the Ecognito browser, so it's not, not using its cache, browser cache, you can see finance.corp.com is going to Paris, and not London, and it's because this name is currently resolved with the uh, VIP Paris. Now, if I kill Paris, then I cannot access um, the, the VIP Paris. The DNS resolution is automatically resolved now with the VIP London, and so if I close the incognito window, reopen a new one, to not use the cache, go to finance.corp.com. Now I'm in London and I'm load balanced between um, the server 11 and 12 in London. But this um, disaster recovery when I lose Paris is completely automatic, as you've seen. I did not touch NSX, I did not touch the physical fabric, I did not touch the compute, 
automatically the users started in Paris and if something bad happens in Paris, automatically the users go to London to their application, to Tia. Thank you very much. This ends the demo. So if I wrap up this demo now, what did we learn? We learn NSXT Federation brings many benefits to your multi-location use cases. The first one is operational simplicity for data centers, where all the configuration is done centrally for the network and security services through your global manager. And this one will push it to the different local managers. You have consistent policy configuration and enforcement, where the security of my two-tier application was created centrally again from the global manager and pushed to my different locations, Paris and London, where I have my two-tier application running. You have compute mobility benefits. This one is not really part of the demo three, but was part of the demo one, where I showed the ability to move vMotion, live vMotion, compute VMs from one location to another one completely transparently. And uh, the last benefit is simplified DR, as we just um, talked about and demonstrated in this demo three, where the DR was done without any touch on NSX, physical uh, fabric or uh, compute and the service when the location Paris was dead, the service was still available automatically uh, for end users using the London data center. Okay. Thanks a lot. I hope that was um, a lot of good information for you and hope to see you soon. Thank you.